Hello everyone. Our next topic is uploading and downloading of smartphone. Suppose I will go for a simple, simple scenario. You are working in a project and you got a chance to resolve one smartphone issue. And you started with the changes in the smartphone. By mistake, you changed some dimensions of the window or you deleted some window or you deleted some text or you deleted some table, template or something changed in the smartphone. Just think it's a layout and it's very, very difficult that what to capture what are the previous dimensions. So what is the best, best way whenever you are getting a chance to work in the smartphone, always you have to take a backup of the original smartphone. Because if something wrong will happen or by mistake you deleted something or you changed something, or you change some dimensions or something changed, at least you have a backup so that you can check in the original backup or you can just upload the original backup. So it will make your task easier. So our next topic is how to download and upload a smartphone. In the previous video, if you remembered, when I deleted the main window, I took a backup first. So at that time, I told you in the future, we will cover the topic, how you can download or upload a smartphone. Suppose, this is the smartphone and suppose I'm resolving a issue in the smartphone. But before starting with the changes, I will simply take a backup of this smartphone. So I'll go for utilities, download form. I will go to, suppose I'm saving on the desktop. I'm saving this smartphone. And you can see my smartphone downloaded on the desktop. If I will see the extension of this file, this is a XML file very important concept whenever you are downloading or uploading the smartphone after we will upload also it always always in the xml format extensible markup language so we downloaded the smartphone it means we have the backup suppose by mistake what happened i deleted the dynamic text window Suppose main window dimensions change by mistake, but there is nothing to worry because I know I have the original backup of the smartphone. See, layouts, that's why are very critical because in, if in layouts you by mistake, you change the dimension, just you can see the implication. So now we know I have the original backup. Suppose I'm activating the smartphone. Now you can see by mistake, one window deleted, by mistake, height got changed, but now I want my original smartphone. I know I have the backup so I can take it from there itself. Now, if I will go for utilities, upload. Now this is the smartphone which I downloaded in XML format. Open. Yes, I want to override. Now if I will activate this, now you can see my dynamic text window is again there. Or if I will go to my main window, same to same height is again. So always make a practice that whenever someone gives you the issue to change something in the layouts, always make a practice to take a backup so that if something wrong will happen, 
you should have the original backup. It will make your task easier. So that's it in this video. Whenever you are downloading or uploading a smartphone, it is always, always a XML format, extensible markup information. Thank you.